Hey, it's working. Okay, here's everybody. So tonight I am going to be continuing Nancy Drew Danger by Design. I know I said I may finish it tonight, but I'm probably not going to. Um, as I said on last night's stream, I said I'm going to be watching all of the Hunger Games movies today, which I I am close. I watched the first one. The Hunger Games, watch the second one, Hunger Games Catching Fire, then Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part 1, and I am now on um, Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part 2. I am like an hour or so, or, um, it, like a little more over an hour in the movie. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of in the Hunger Games zone right now. Um, but I thought I'd try my hand at the uh, Katniss braid. It's not, I'm not very good at it. I'll, I'll admit that I'm not very good at it. But, uh, here it is so far. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, let me turn. Oh gosh, it is summer braid. Oh my gosh, no. Mm. No, okay, no. My, my braid looks awful. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a very cruel, uh, hairdresser out of my, out of my, uh, Options to do in life. <laughs> okay, let's just let's just get into the game. Uh, Christy, how, how come the stream? Glad you can make it. Oh gosh, my hair looks awful now. I thought, yay! I actually did a Katniss braid. No, I failed at it. But the click stop streaming. Continue. Where we left off was, uh, hey, how, uh, Chrissy, how's the, uh, game volume with my voice? Just so, just so, I, I know, uh, thank you, Christy. <laughs> um, okay. Gotcha. Nope, gotcha. nope, gotcha. Yes. Anybody else hate this one? Is that just me? My gosh, the letters in these fonts look exactly like the ones that were used in one of those threatening notes Manette got. Which means Heather must have sent it. Dun dun dun. Come on. Plate time's over, little guy. Or girl. Yes, haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like this one either. It's so. Uh, I told this lady when she called that you were too busy to respond, but she's very persistent. Dear Miss Minette, it's in the books on the women of the French Resistance, uh, exploits of Noisette Trenade, uh, because she owned the windmill which you now own. Oh, this is from that historian who called before. Maybe she can help me figure out why Dita was carrying that obituary around. Uh, if I'm correct, is it? Okay, I don't want to sound totally bad. Um, oh, hey, if I'm correct, and I usually am pretty good with names, I'm, I apologize in advance if I totally mess this up, and I'm actually embarrassed by saying this right now. Your name is Stephanie, if I'm right. No, up, go, up, go. Fine. That's pretty. Uh oh, Manette is not going near it. This fabric is so strange. It's soft and metallic all at the same time. That's pretty. Yep, woohoo! Yes, I'm pretty good with names. Anything else besides that, I bite at. Okay, come Here, on. Buggy, buggy, buggy. I was just gonna say that. Gotcha. Oh my gosh. So how's y'all uh, Sunday been? Buggy. No, get back here. Get back here. No, no, no. Yeah. 
If I were an insect, where would I hide? Anyway, get out of this fashion whatever. No, get back here! No! This is D. Welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. And Stephanie, welcome to the stream. Glad, glad you can make it. Went to the zoo. Oh, I loved the zoo when I was a kid. No, get here. Yeah, I thought working for a fashion designer was going to be glamorous. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's see, gosh, I'm already, start I'm already starting to get Nancy Drew gamer wrist. I've legit watched fucking games all day today. It's a lot done. I started at like 11 something, and I'm just now um, a little bit past one hour on the final movie. Okay. Good, you know, breaks, you know, pause, you know, take the dog out, get food, normal stuff. Okay, so. Here, buggies! Hey, it worked! Woohoo! Got one more. The last one is always the hardest. Here, buggy, buggy, buggy. I'm gonna change direction. So I get dizzy. Hmm. Okay, I'm sorry I get dizzy. Uh. Uh. Gotcha. Yes. There, that has got to be the last bug. <laughs> Can open the door now, Manette. Did you get all of the bugs? Yes, Manette. How many are there? I don't know, nine. Are they all alive? Yes, Manette. Are you sure you didn't kill any? Positive. And they're all in the box? Yes. Okay, listen. I want you to take that <clears throat> box to the park and let those things go. Only I don't want to be here when you come out. Probably the only thing those twisted little vermin are thinking about right now is revenge. Manette, they're cockroaches. Exactly! So I want you to count to ten, and then, and only then, are you to come out of there, all right? Anything you say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> what a nut job. You are just now saying this? Uh, so, have uh, any of you seen a movie called Tangled? Came out in 2011? 11? I think it was 11. Uh, okay, I wonder... Can I type it in? Oh, I can't type it in, that bites. Come on. There we go. So Oh, Chrissy, you haven't seen Tangled? Oh you need to. It is funny. It is it is great. I mean, I've watched it. I know I've watched track it. I still laugh at it. Fair. 
no fun stuff here? What does that mean? Do I have to put the one first? To call Lynn or whatever her name is, or this person's name is, I don't know if it's, I can't remember if it's male or female. I think it's, I think it's female. Um, I don't know if I have to put the one or not. Five, five, nine, five, 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 six. No! No! Oh, shut up. Okay, try. Okay, at the same time, the charm, so, uh, you know. Okay, what about to do? Thank you, Christy. So one five five nine five 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 six eight three eight. My eyes have been bugging me all day. Like everything's kind of. I don't know how to. Swap, I don't know how to Modern describe European it. History, Lynn Manrique. Hello, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Paris. Actually, I talked to you earlier when you tried to call Manette. She's finally calling me back? Wonderful! Please, uh, I'd like to, but I'm afraid she's still too busy to talk to you. Oh. But if you don't mind, could I ask you a couple of questions about Noisette Tournade? Certainly. You mentioned hidden plunder in your letter to Manette. What did you mean? Some people said that during the war she took various pieces of artwork mostly from churches, and stashed them away somewhere so they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. That sounds pretty heroic to me. Well, some people said she stole them for herself. And unfortunately, the artwork remains lost to this day. No one knows exactly what Noisette took, or if indeed she took anything. You see, from 1942 until the liberation of Paris, Noisette worked as a translator for the Germans by day and an encoder for the French resistance by night. This, as you might imagine, made everyone suspicious of her, both French and Germans alike. And after the war, things got ugly. Especially when people found out she was romantically involved with a German soldier. His name was Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. You're kidding me. Dun-dun-dun. Was he by any chance related to Dieter von Schwesterkrank, the fashion photographer? I'm afraid I have no idea. Hans left Paris right after the war and never returned, leaving Noisette to fend for herself. She was tried as a collaborator in 1946 and acquitted, but the experience left her quite bitter. She never married, you know. Very private person. She served as Paris's director of public works for more than 20 years. Yet not one person has been able to tell me what her favorite color was. In any case, Noisette was terribly hurt that the city she loved had turned on her like that. After her trial, she told the press that the truth of what she'd done during the war resided in her and in the person and place she loved the most. And that was that. She never spoke of her wartime activities again. I assume that the person she was referring to was Hans von Festerkrank, who passed away a year or two ago and that the place was her <clears throat> beloved Moulin, which is where she lived for almost half a century after the war. That's why I'm hoping Manette will allow me to visit it. Now, I've got a question for you. In the hours before she died, Noisette was said to have constantly muttered three words, red, left, green. Is there anything inside the Moulin that has to do with red, left, green? Anything at all? No, but I'll keep that in mind and let you know if I see something. I'd appreciate it. Any other questions? Do I have to ask, like, all this, or can I just, like, you know, skip past it? What was the French Resistance? That was the name given to the various groups of men and women who did their best to undermine Germany's military occupation of France during World War II. Some would engage in strikes and sabotage, while others would collect and pass intelligence along to the Allies. Needless to say, their operations were highly covert and very dangerous. What did you mean when you said Moisette was tried as a collaborator? 
Collaborators were French citizens who not only failed okay. to resist the occupation, but actually helped the Germans keep it going. Because Noisette had worked for the Germans as a translator and had a German boyfriend, after the war, many of her countrymen automatically accused her of collaboration. When it was revealed that she had been a member of the resistance, instead of exonerating her, that just made some people think she'd been spying for the Germans, too. As I said before, it was an ugly time, one which poor Noisette spent the rest of her life trying to forget. Hmm. What else can you tell me about the German occupation of Paris? The German army entered Paris on June 14, 1940, and after France formally surrendered on June 22nd, the Germans controlled the city. They took whatever they wanted, food, supplies, houses, artwork, and dictated how Parisians were to live their lives. Naturally, their presence was deeply resented. Some people ignored the situation as best they could. Some collaborated with the Germans, while others, like those in the resistance, fought back until the city was finally liberated on August 25th, 1944. Hmm. After the war, when she was the director of public works, what kind of things did Moisette do? She oversaw many of the services which the citizens of Paris enjoyed every day. Streets, bridges, parks, their maintenance all came under Noisette's purview. She particularly enjoyed putting various forms of art on permanent display in various public places, especially parks. I really appreciate your help. It was nothing. Goodbye. Mm. Get out our trusty uh, task list. Check. You can't check that off yet. See if he's related. Okay. Go ask Dieter if he's uh, uh, related to. Um... I forget the guy's name now. Someone's in the dark room. Mr. von Schwesterkrank? Are you in there? Who's there? Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. I just wondered what you were doing in Square du Vert Galant Park. I, uh, I was just taking a walk. You sure. dropped an obituary about Noisette Tornade. Shall I leave it for you? There's no need. I don't want it. Why were you carrying it around? Because I, uh, I was going to send it to my grandmother. I thought she knew the woman. Turns out she did. You also dropped some kind of trinket. Looks like a miniature clock. That's something my great uncle Hans gave me. It's actually a key. It opens the panel over there to the right of the bookshelf. He lived here during the war. The place has been in the family ever since. What's behind the panel? Go ahead and see for yourself. Just be prepared to go a little cuckoo. Got me. My phone is messing up really bad and starting to get on my nerves. Hmm. I hate this one. What's up with this? Mr. von Schwesterkrank? 
Believe it or not, that key your uncle gave you opened up some kind of passageway. Is it okay if I see where it goes? A passageway? You never said anything about a passageway. Go ahead and explore it all you want. Just be careful, this building is very old. They've been older mm, buildings than this. His name is Boris. I always have to look up a thing online about these pictures because I because I can never get them right ever. There we go. Wait, what's that? No, oh, turn around. Nothing. Hmm. I wonder what that symbol means. The year when our despair ended, the year when my despair began. It's not weird or anything. Anybody know the answer to this? Just so I can, like, you know, fast forward through it. Never mind. Wonder what that thing is. Looks like some kind of code. Hmm. Those dials remind me of the stone discs in Minette's studio. The ones she got paint all over. Dear Nossa, we thank you for your bravery and dedication for working with the resistance. Please know that this work is extremely dangerous and under no circumstances should you ever reveal any information or contacts you have learned about. We will provide further instructions on the M380 machine, a wonderful contraption we will call we like to call our dear old friend. I'm sure 380 will soon become your sha um whatever that means, the more you use of it. Essentially, 380 allows you uh, allows for the encoding and decoding of messages. Here are some tips. Okay, I'm good. Uh, oh. Welcome to shame. This is D. Glad you can make it. I hope I take the right picture of that stinking spider. Hold on, one second, guys. So I don't have to keep going through you see my phone and do this. Uh DC true. If I could learn how to spell, that'd be great. That's weird. One second guys. My computer should not go either. <laughs> Alright, oh, my mouth hurts again, this stinks. Okay. Time to go to the park, wrong way. Let's turn around there for a minute. Uh, park, right there. So, hey, this is Dee, how's your day been today? Well, Sunday, Sunday night if it's, if it's night for you. Okay guys, end of the line. You are out of here. I Yay! To the memory of the French fighters. Mm. Bonjour. What intrigues Mademoiselle this time? Well, let's see. What is this thing? 
I have been told that it is probably a decoder used by those who resisted the German occupation of World War II. Really? How much do you want for it? Nothing. It is not for sale. It is a piece of history. What's on the table? I have it only as an eye catcher. But you're a businessman. You must be willing to part with it for something. That's stupid. Mm, I will trade you one piece of history for another. You give me a battle of Mouton Fouette, 1968. And I give you the decoder. Deal. What's Mouton Fouette? Mouton Fouette 1968 is a very rare beverage that is usually stored underground. Unfortunately, finding an intact bottle has become next to impossible. But if you want the decoder, the impossible is what you must do. So, get me a bottle of Mouton Fouette 1968. I will accept nothing less. In the meantime, what else tickles the fancy? A wetsuit. Not just any wetsuit. It used to belong to a friend of the famous undersea explorer Jacques Cousteau. A friend who is said to have shared many adventures with him. For that reason, I sell it for 125 euros. I couldn't possibly pay more than 63 euros. Vendu. What else tickles the fancy? I'm good. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. <laughs> Bonjour, mademoiselle. I want it. Back. <laughs> what do you like? Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you want to look again, just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. I just get the name of the vendors mixed up. Bonjour, mademoiselle. You will ask to return. I have many new things. You see? Yes, you do. I could use a French-English dictionary. How much? This is the best French-English dictionary you can buy in all of Paris. Not too big, simple to use, hundreds and hundreds of words. I practically give it to you for 30 euros. How about 23 euros? It is yours. Uh, oh, forget it. I don't have enough money. Dang it! Those appeals to you. I have 18. Gosh. I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. That is only 10 euro. Batteries included. Five euro seems fair. It is yours. What else appeals to you? I think I do a bunch of paintings. Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. I have to go do a bunch of paintings now. So I need that dictionary. Bonjour. What intrigues mademoiselle this time? I wouldn't mind painting another picture or two. Be my guest. I hate doing this one, so I always pick her because she's easier. So, you all uh, would recommend any good games or um, movie or something or stuff like that? Got a minute playing a game. Or watching a movie, whichever one. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Sure thing. Be my guest. I 
Undertale. What is that? Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Sure thing. Be my guest. That doesn't help at all. My eyes are worse right now. Last one, then I'll go sniffing and stuff. Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. I need more money than this. I don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well, how much is this? 30 euro. How about 23 euros? It is yours. What else appeals to you? <clears throat> Actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. I kind of never expected Nancy to say something. Okay. That's funny. It's a Manette thing. You wouldn't understand. No one would. <laughs> Why did you write Manette that threatening letter? What? You think I wrote those letters? I think you wrote at least one of them. Can you prove it? Then you did write it. Okay. A couple months ago, I got so fed up with her that I... I just had to get back at her somehow. I'd seen how upset those other letters made her, so I sent one of my own, but just that one. And I never intended to really do anything to her. I just wanted her to suffer. You know, emotionally. Dang. The way she made you suffer when she started going out with Dieter. You really don't miss a trick, do you? I thought when she dumped him like that that he'd finally come to his senses and realize that I'm the one he should be with. But even now, even after she broke up with him, she still has some kind of weird, sick hold on him. Look, you're not going to tell Minette about this, are you? There's really no need. It'll just upset her all over again. And she's so far behind as it is. And there's no telling how she'd take it out on me, or on you, for that matter, just for telling her. So don't say anything to her, okay? I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll see you later.
Come on. What? I typed it in. The right number. What? Another question? Look, just send the oldest, moldiest, worst smelling cheese you have to that address. Now quit calling me and get it done! Uh, Mr. Butterly? Who is this? Well, it's obviously not who you think it is. My name's Nancy Drew. I just me Nancy Drew. I'm a kind of a friend of Minette's. Her, I know. That scared me, actually. And you don't like her? Great, my computer's gonna do it again. Let's see. Her work is repugnant, pedestrian, completely boring and amateurish at best. How could I possibly like someone who churns out such dreck? Now, if you'll excuse me, whoever you are, I'm going to hang up. Goodbye, then. No, wait, I just wanna... Come on. Rats. Okay, I'm gonna have to, uh... Save. Yes. I have to quit my game and come back. That's what did it. That's, that, that's what helped it last night. Alright. So. I have no idea. Fuse off for a minute. My ears sort of hurt. <laughs> that feels better. So, how's everybody doing tonight? What a day of Jim Linus for you all. I am tired and my eyes are really killing me. It's like everything's kind of, kind of fuzzy. Not really fuzzy, kind of like blurry. Not bad or anything, but... Is it raining right now? Uh, so, uh, Stephanie, I talked to Christy and Mrs. D about this last night. What is your favorite old Disney movie? Now, when I think about what time period, when I say old Disney movie, I'm what I thought of was like Beauty and the Beast and Lion King and Moon Lawn and stuff like that. My favorite one, I have two favorites actually, so I can't pick a favorite, I like a lot of them, but my three main ones are Hercules, Lion King 2, and um, Beauty and the Beast. The Lion King, that, that, that's great. Who's your favorite character from, now from The Lion King? Other pieces of hair sticking out that don't happen to me. There we go. And I wish Lion King like the first one, the the one that didn't really make any sense. Well, what, 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 it did, it didn't. The Lion King one and a half. Did anybody watch that? Are you killing me? Stop. Um, Pumba. <laughs> I can't remember this quote from the second one. 
Oh gosh, I forget. But it was really funny. Uh, Zira, I think. She uh, she said, I've dreamed of nothing else for years. And then it pans over to, to Mom and says, Geez, does she need a hobby? That is so funny. Didn't they give them shows that from like just them two? Didn't Thank you, Kissy. Um, I hope all goes well with the landlord and everything. Um, and I'm doing pretty well. Uh my eyes are just really stuff is kind of blurry to me right now. I don't know why. It's been doing that all day. I don't know why. And every time I rub them, they kind of like it, like it feels like it should help. It doesn't. Um, my favorite character from the first Lion King would have to be oh, it's a cross between Grown Up Simba and Nala. I like them both. And of course, Timon and Pumbaa. Give my game a little bit of a time to kind of shut off and then re, you know, everything. Sound weird. Oh, that's fine. This is D. We were a few uh, minutes ago. We were talking about um, Lion King and our favorite characters. There was one song that Timon and Pumbaa performed in the Lion King that was really funny. Besides the Hakuna Matata, what was the other one? Um, can you feel the love tonight? The the saying that they that 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 they do at the end. I have it on my, on my computer. I don't want to do copyright and stuff like that. Even with my back back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, giving my game. My game was messing up again, like it was last night. So. Moana? I haven't I haven't seen Moana. I've heard the uh the um How Far I'll Go song because I watched this uh little girl called Claire Ryan. Uh <laughs> um but I watched this little girl called named Claire Ryan sing How Far I'll Go and it is and she is adorable. Um, and, and I mean, I love that song. It's on Netflix right now. I've seen a lot of gifts and stuff like that on, on, on Facebook as well. Should I watch it? I mean, I've been thinking about it. I feel something pop in my arm. It actually kind of hurt. There's like a really, really bad storm where where I'm at um, last night. I mean, it was so bad that thunder, I mean, like, it felt like it just shook the house. And it was really bad. My uh, little dog, she's a little bitty, uh, Long haired chihuahua, and um, actually, this is her right here, and she is terrified of thunder. So, last night it was, um, it was a uh, kind of bad. She didn't really like that, she didn't like it at all. It's kind of sad when she gets scared of storms, honestly. What is this? Can't I can't read it? Alright, right one. There we go. They have a lot of uh, 
bad storm this morning when you get up, Misty. And uh, there's been some bad storms lately. Full screen. Move this over. This side is, is, is actually kind of funny what I've done. Uh, hold on here. Let me get rid of this for a minute. Um, this is all the games that I've streamed. And these are all the games that I have not. So I'm getting kind of close to not having any new streamed games to, to to stream, which is bad, because I like streaming native new games. It's fun. I need to move this back over and click on the game. Load. Fetch. Load. If I had a drink, I was gonna. I, I actually meant to today. But. Um. Nothing, guys. I gotta move over to take this picture. Um. Like, I actually meant to do, like, a drinking game today. But. I, uh. But I, uh. Gosh, I mean, I just. I should want a drink, and I don't think, um, I don't, I don't know if one of my family members is actually on the first floor or something like that. Uh, have I played any issues with Dossier games? No, I have not. I don't want to, because I know that the, that the series got, uh, cancelled for some reason, and I don't want to get to liking them, and then wish that they would have created more. Should have listened to that when I said, uh, my, fa my family and I should have listened to that when we watched, um, we watched the dead zone. But no, we we didn't look up anything. We just kept on watching. When it comes to making tea. Been there, done that. And it was kind of bad. Um, anybody who is wanting to watch the dead zone with Angela Michael Paul in it, I would suggest not to if you don't want to. Um, if you don't want to be uh, disappointed that they didn't make another season. I mean, it's still a good series. I mean, if you want to, I mean, they ended it kind of at a good note, kind of at a sad note, bad note. But you want to look at it? Any more I take here? No, I'm good. Huh. It's late. I can do this tomorrow. Dang it. So. Wow, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, so, do you all, so do any of you have, um, so do you all have, um, any, any, any Nancy Drew shirts? Sorting into danger. I've seen. I, I've. I haven't seen that game being played. But uh, what was it gonna do? Oh wait, no. I gotta get. I gotta get out of this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go through the pages. Ah, legs don't hurt. Hello, Jing Jing Ling. Is it truly you? Uh, no, this isn't Jingjing. Jing. I'm just calling from her phone. From her phone? So, you know Jingjing? Jing. Are you her friend? Well, yeah, I guess. You are the most lucky person in the world. I am a big fan of Jingjing. Jing. I call her house and leave massage. I call Minette because I know she works there, but she will not talk to me. She is too... Mm, what is the word? Paranormal? 
Uh, you mean paranoid? Yes, yes, paranoid. So, if you are not Xing Xing, why do you call me? This is Zhu, right? Yes, yes, I am Zhu. Well, Zhu, my name is Nancy Drew, and I saw a symbol on the wall when I was in an underground passage not too long ago. It looked like two leaves with two nut-type things attached to them, and I just wondered if you could tell me what it meant or why it was there. Yes, yes, of course I can. But first, you must have Xing write something for me. Write something for you? You must have her write something that I can keep. Have her write, Zhu, my love, Xing. Then, take the metro to the Danfer Rochereau station, enter the catacombs, find the bones from the Magdalene Cemetery, and put the autograph in the skull below the plaque. Have her write, Zhu, my love, Jing, go to the catacombs, find the Magdalene Cemetery bones, and leave the autograph in a skull. Yes, yes, exactly that. Don't worry about desecrating the person whose bones they may be. The skull, it is a fake. My friend and I put it there. And so, after you deliver it, you call me and I tell you all about the symbol you saw. But what if Jing Jing refuses? Then, Nancy Drew, it seems we will both be very disappointed. I just thought I heard, um, like a... Like, it, it sounded like someone was actually like, just like banging on something outside. And, you know, it's 10 o'clock at night, what the heck? <laughs> okay, uh... Sleepy. What? Someone with a German accent called for you when you were fitting JJ, but he didn't leave a message. Oh? He sounded kind of angry. I'm sure it wasn't important, so don't worry about it. What else? Well, one second, guys. Stephanie, can you bring me some? Bacon? Dude, that sounds good. Actually, hey, I have some! Downstairs, I'm good! <laughs> that sounds good. You might get me some. Um... In design on issue shirt, what kind of would you have? I would have like to uh, it is on the box over like stay tuned for the interior of the world tower. Huh. Um I don't know. Like any design like like anything like from the games or like a design um like of my choosing. Like could be anything. Okay, Mrs. D. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, should I tell Minette about Heather or not? But hold on, let me think about this. Um, stop shaking at me! Thank you. Um, about, uh, about this design. Uh, you know, one thing, um, One thing would be really cool is, um, is, uh, gosh, I don't know, hold on. There's a different ending to it? Wait, hold on. 
Does it have an ending to it? Uh, what? Okay, I won't. Do you have any idea who sent you that box of cockroaches? No. Probably just some idiot who has no understanding of how much I have to do, and how long it takes me to do it, and thinks the world revolves around him and what he wants, and can't understand why people don't jump just because he snaps his finger! I mean, what? probably just some practical joker, that's all. Guess I'll be going. Good. There. Holy crud! I've never known this! I guess every single time I've always told her about Heather and my mind is blown. My mind is blown. <laughs> I never knew that. Okay, now I can't wait till we finish the game. <laughs> um uh What's up? I'll let you get back to work. Okay. Ooh, uh, let's have the sores right here. Welcome back, Stephanie. No, I want ice cream. Thanks. Um. I don't know. I think one of the um things that I would want on a shirt, Chrissy, would have to be one like of um. Actually, uh, the quote that Ned said, um, in the Sea of Darkness. Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? Uh, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, hold on. It's up to my tongue. Mm. 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 Uh, gosh, uh. I can't. I can't remember the second thing he said, but one of the three things he said in the same chart is, you know, you know, like with a little bit of picture of Ned and then like a little bit of picture of like a silhouette Nancy. Maybe like a heart. You know, maybe, maybe like a heart little thing there and then um, the quote. And then like at the bottom put like, and like a little, the Ned. Okay, now I'm gonna find what he said. I gotta remember what he says. He's bug me now. I'm staying with JJ Ling, the model. Do you know her? But of course. I know everyone who is anyone when it comes to fashion. And Gigi, she is a breath of fresh air. But what about JJ Ling? You mean Gigi Ling? No, I mean JJ. <laughs> Gigi. JJ. En français, you pronounce G like J and J like G. She may very well be JJ in America, but in France, she is GG. A lot of people thought Ned was going to propose. He should have. That would have been amazing to end Lion Manila's career as Nancy Drew. That would have been amazing. You know, have like so all these games have like cute little stuff between her and Ned, and suddenly, boom! Get, you know, you know, it's like, oh hey, I know you're off in a mystery, but will you marry me? Like, uh. What really would have been awesome is, I'm like at the end of Sea of Darkness, you see Ned in person for the first time, and him kneel down on one knee, and you know, it's like, hey, I know you missed our our anniversary, so I flew out here. Eh? That would have been awesome. How well does she get along with Manette? From what I hear, very well. Which is surprising when you consider all things. I assume she told you how she was tricked into a current contract with Minette. No, she didn't. Manette tricked her? If you do not know, you will have to ask Gigi. Just because I know everything that happens in the world of haute couture does not mean that I repeat everything. Hmm. 
The picture of Manette that was in the June issue of Glam Glam, was it cropped, do you remember? Mm, I'm sure it was. Most photographs are these days. Why? Do you know anything about the stones that are in the background of that picture? They almost look like dials. I do not remember seeing any dials in the picture, but... As it happens, all the pictures which I use in my articles are stored right here in my digital assistant. I will help you, mademoiselle, but only if you help me first. You see, the owner of this cafe, he faces a crease. The person who makes desserts for him has stepped out for his customary two and a half hour break. Unfortunately, a bus full of American teenagers has pulled up and all are clamoring for parfait. So, I will tell the owner that you will make the parfait. Yay. You, he will be indebted to me. I actually do like this one. Allow me to continue using this table as my office. And I will be indebted to you and will allow you to see the picture. You see how it works? Yes. Um, you would be freaking out, that would be awesome. There was actually a one time in a book, in one of the Nancy Drew case files, if I'm correct, I could be wrong about what book it was, but Ned, um, Ned actually proposed to Nancy in the book, and she said no. I don't, I can't remember why, but... This is like Nancy, what the heck? You're an idiot, come on! Yeah, I get the picture. Okay, looks like I've got chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, caramel ice cream, bananas, tapioca balls, berries, and whipped cream. Oh, what, Stephanie? Is an <laughs> oh gosh, what? <laughs> Strawberry, caramel, banana. No, oh. that actually looks really, really gross. And the sound it makes is like, ooh. Oui, c'est ça. <laughs> yes. Now they want a long fair. Yeah, no, yeah, no, Nancy says something. Yeah, no, no. I was kind of, I was kind of mad, but in the uh, Nancy Shu Hardy Boys, what do you mean? Let's see. Merci. Next up, a tropical. He liked it. Now they want a long fair. There was one time in the Nancy Drew Hot uh Super Mystery books where um where uh Nancy got hurt like like on a beach or something and she twisted her ankle and she couldn't she, she couldn't walk back to the hotel by herself and Frank found her there. And um so then he helped her get back to the um hotel and N Ned was there as well and he didn't like that <laughs> and then there's actually one other time where uh c'est pas bien he does not sound too happy with me next is a corbeau what the heck is it what the heck is it okay okay chocolate caramel banana caramel chocolate what okay Chocolate, caramel, banana, caramel, chocolate. Parfait. 
One Misty coming up. And then Ben, there was one last time when um, Nancy and Frank actually kissed in the hotel or I think somewhere else, I forget. But Ned was behind them, walked up to him and said, don't let me interrupt. Or something that effect. And they stop and they turn around and uh, then Ned is like, you know, pure anger on his face and he just walks away. C'est bien. Here comes a fantasy. Actually, really, really bad. <laughs> Honestly. to make an X-Y. So that it was part... Uh, hmm. I think I looked up online and it took me about 10, 10, 20 minutes trying to find it. to make an X-Y. This sound sounds awful. It's totally unappealing. Like, I don't wanna, like, I never wanna eat a par, whatever. I'm getting there. There, all done. The owner, he tells me you did a good job. And so, as was our agreement, here is the picture you wish to see. Great, thank you. So, what else do you wish from me? I'd better get going. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Oh, the wrist hurts. I just talked to this huge fan of yours. He'd really, really like your autograph. I'm flattered, but unfortunately he's out of luck. Nobody gets my autograph. I'm afraid that someone will use it to forge my name and steal my identity. Wow. Uh, yeah, so this fan, or Zoo, or whatever the guy's name is, he's like a stalker. <laughs> he's not a fan, he's a stalker. You know, from everything, you know everything he was talking about nobody can steal your identity you're too famous stuff like that happens to people like me all the time i'm just not going to take the chance want to play hangman that'd be great uh what do you say you wanted sue my love what 
Jin what what Jin what, what I don't okay who cares uh Z no you Zoo. M Y L sorry o. V E Bingo J I sorry N G I wasn't even close. May I have that piece of paper? Sure. Mm -hmm. Wanna play again? Maybe later. Anytime you wanna play, just let me know. I'll let you get back to your cookie dough. See ya. I want cookies now, dang it. Sounds good. I'm gonna go to the park and make some more money uh, before I go before I put that little thing. <laughs> so I can make some more money so I can get all that stuff I need. Bonjour. What intrigues Mademoiselle this time? I wouldn't mind painting another picture or two. Be my guest. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys uh, reading any good books lately? I'm gonna, even though I have um, a little bit, uh, dang it. I hate it when you want to read so many books and yet one money. Second, you don't have enough time. You can't read, you know, three books at a time and expect to know the stories. I feel hey, Candace Everdeen is in. The, no, uh, is it a nature true book? No way! They just get everything all mixed up. What color is this? Oh gosh, that my stream stopped chilling. Good. Monsieur, how's this? <clears throat> another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? If you don't mind. Be my guest. Uh, uh, that bites. Gosh, my feet are, my legs are killing me again. I put my, my legs down. I'm about to sit cross legged but then my knees start to hurt, and I can't. I haven't bent that long. It hurts. You know, records actually should be a thing, you know? I mean, that'd be good, you know, like in real life. That'd be great. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? You bet. Be my guest. Never had to do this many. Um, uh, paintings when I, whenever I play this. What kind of book is it? Is it like fiction, nonfiction, mystery, 
stuff like that. What color am I? What color is my? Okay, so that's brown. You can't even tell what color you are, like the paint, like you are, like the paintbrush. Cause you can't, like, it, I don't think it changes color. Oh, it does. You just kind of hard to tell. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. <coughs> Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. No. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Now I can go give that thing to Zoo. It's funny. Un s'il vous plaît. Bye bye, hard earned cash. All right. Magdalene. This must be the place Zoo was talking about. And <laughs> there's a skull. I'm a. That could be right better. Um, Zoo sure picked a weird drop off place for that autograph. Oh, look, look it up. Let me go here. Where do I have to take a picture of? I'm an idiot. I think it's fine. Yeah, I've got a lot of good books um, this uh, just this year alone. Uh, I've read um, The Silent Songbird by Melanie Dickerson. Uh, if I Run and If I'm Found by Terry Blackstock. That is actually one of my favorites. Um, Fatal Mistake by Susan Sleeman. Oh gosh. Uh, Her Secret by Shelley Shepard Gray. And I'm currently reading Truth Stained Lies by Terry Blackstock. But this, another, another one, it's His Guilt. By Shelley Shepard Gray. I want. I want to get. You have reached the Paris but, studio of Hugo Butler. No, I mean that. No. Renowned fashion designer. As you might expect, I'm very busy right now creating my spring collection, about which I'm very excited. Regretfully, I'm far too busy to answer the phone. And as we all know, returning calls is such a bore. May I suggest you peruse my website, www.hugobutler.mod, and use the link provided to contact me via email. In the meantime, my luscious fall line is in the stores. Ready to be bought, worn, and enjoyed. Goodbye then. Didn't mean to do that one. Um, and now I want to get. It's like I actually forgot the name. I don't look it up in my thing right now. It's a. It's just a continuation of. Um. Oh, I forgot one. Uh, what's the name? What's the name? What's the name? I should know this. What's the name? Oh, uh, a daring sacrifice by. I forget the name of the author. I forget the name of the author, but that was really good. It's like a, it's like a retelling of the uh, old um, Robin Hood story. It was, but it was really good. 
you know, they're all Christian fiction, so they're so, so, uh, so that's a good thing. It's Nancy Drew. Did you get the autograph? It is magnifique. You were wise not to try to fool me, Nancy. I know Jing's handwriting better than I know my own. So, here is what I know about that symbol. I call it the hazelnut because to me that is what it looks like. A noisette. Wait a minute. A noisette? Yes, yes. That is French for hazelnut. I have seen it in only one place in the catacombs. To reach this place, return to the catacombs and go to the skull where you left Jing Jing's autograph. Lift the top part of the skull and push the red button. That will open a secret passage that will lead you to the noisette. Great. Thank you. But if you go there, you must be careful. The tunnel police, they are one problem. The tunnels, they are another. What do you mean? Some of the tunnels, especially near the Mouton Beverage Company, they are water... water filled with trees. You mean waterlogged? Ah, yes, yes, waterlogged. You must swim underwater to reach the place where I saw the noisette. And the water is very cold. You will need a wetsuit. Good luck, Nancy Drew. You will need that too. That's funny. Okay, this guy is no fan, he's a stalker! So I know he running for this land on my own. That is stalker right there. It's like you know. You know, oh this is weird. And he knew who it was when we called. It's even worse. It's like he has her thing on um it's, you know, it's like he has color ID for her. Suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more comfortable than it looks. Oof, this place is crawling with four legged vermin. Ew. God, I know this way, though. I think the last time I played this, I was sick. I thought I knew. What the heck? <gasps> I just moved back in a circle. Are you kidding me? <gasps> this bites. I just moved back in a circle. nervous oh my wrist <clears throat> you know for some reason I can't handle um uh water in video games um I will I mean like I will actually drop my controller if I'm playing it on my Xbox I mean like on here I don't know why I was fine I guess because I was expecting it but if it's like sudden there's like this one game where it's a uh, it's it's uh, kind of like a mind game, and then like there's this one part where if you fall like the the ground is just water, so you can't it's like if you fall off this little bit thing you fall in water and I did that once, and then I went, Phew, and I cannot handle it. I'm like I just got goosebumps and uh, so like that just thinking about it, but like I I don't know why I can't. I guess I had a um, guess because I didn't like the beach either, so. Okay, a rough translation would be 
in Europe near the new bridge. Snow White lives in a red castle. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yay. I have no idea what this is, but after everything I went through to get here, I'm taking it. until I get this wetsuit off. Ah, a rat! Hey, it's a horse shirt. That's funny. I better get out of this wetsuit before I head back. That's funny. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. But this is really important. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, if you want, you could take some stock photos for me. Sure. The list of things I need pictures of is on my desk. You can use the camera I let you borrow. I'll get right on it. Oh, no. The list is in French. Uh. go um to the park take a picture then i'm done well the pictures hopefully i mean i hate doing the pictures because you have to do it just right trouble like with the pictures on here and stuff like that. Yes! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> did you take all those photos for me? I sure did. They're all right there in your camera. So you had some questions for me? How well do you know J.J. Ling? As well as I care to. The way she's always pulling out that annoying word game and begging people to play. And did you know that she won a lottery back in the States? That's right, she's actually filthy rich. <laughs> what kind of person models when she's filthy rich? There's something not quite right about that girl. <laughs> That's great. What do you know about Noisette Tornade? The French resistance fighter? I seem to recall reading that she died recently, and that's about it. Why do you ask? I know three things, Mr. Von Schwesterkronk. 
One, Noisette Tornade, whose obituary you were carrying until it fell out of your pocket in the park. Noisette used to own the old windmill Manette now owns. Two, during World War II, she was rumored to have hidden several valuable works of art from the Germans somewhere in Paris. And three, she was romantically involved with a German soldier named Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. Oh, yes. I know all those things, too. Hans was my great uncle. But there are one or two things you don't know, Fräulein. You could not have known that just before he passed away, my great uncle gave me that. What is it? Something Noisette gave to him. Turn it over and look on the back. Unfortunately, my great uncle couldn't remember what any of it meant. She used to be the director of public works, so I went to her favorite park to see if anything there might help me figure out what that card means. But I discovered nothing. You can keep that if you want. I can? Yes, I give up. I don't care anymore. Oh. Finding that lost artwork is why you started going out with Minette, isn't it? Since Minette owns the Moulin, where Noisette spent most of her life, I thought dating her would help me figure out what that card meant. Wow. But then something totally unexpected and tragic happened. I fell in love with her. Minette is one of the cleverest, most infuriating, yet fascinating women I have ever met. Guess you haven't, um, seen her throw a potted plant at your face, huh? Or at someone else's. You still feel that way? Even after she broke up with you like that? I can't help myself. I thought that if I found that missing artwork, I would be a hero and Minette would change her mind about me. But I can barely keep my mind on my works these days, let alone on finding some mystical treasure. If you want to look for it, go right ahead. Right now, the only thing I'm interested in recovering is Minette. Okay, everybody, I have decided I am done with tonight's stream. Um, thank you all for watching. I had a ton of... Oh, my ear feels kind of funny. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, I Sorry for technical difficulties again. I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Um, oh, my mic. My mic wasn't working again either. I'm going to figure that out. Um, so, yeah, and then, uh, hope you all had a good time with watching me play. Um, this video will be up, will be, <laughs> this video will be up on my YouTube tonight. Um, uh, Christy and Stephanie, you are most welcome for streaming. Um, I hope you all will... Watch me tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time when I finish playing Nature Drew Danger by Design. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you all have not. Um, you know, and uh, I think tomorrow we need to have a drinking game. You all, uh, you all okay with that? I think that'd be fun. Um, I actually was thinking about the word. Um, I was thinking, like, anything that has to do with fashion. Uh, no, or should it be something like with Noisette? No. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Noisette Tonard. Might be pronouncing it wrong. It might be. <laughs> okay, gosh, I am. I cannot pronounce names very well. Um, yeah, so 
I think that'd be fun. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I bring actual. I'm kind of kind of wish I bring water because I totally meant to do the drinking game tonight, but I forgot to give me water. Which bites. Um, again, hope you all can watch me tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time when I finish playing Names You Do Danger by Design, and I cannot wait for the ending. Now that I know that there's two alternate endings to this game, I never knew that. And I always thought it was just, just the one. And I put this game like five or six times. I mean, oh my gosh. I never knew that. I guess it just happened that I always clicked the thing to tell Minette about Heather. Gosh, my mind is blown now. Alright, I gotta go. My mouth is kind of hurting too. So, it's got sores. Stupid braces, so... Anyway, hope you all have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Hope to see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.